Mike here. So yesterday I built this uh, goofy thermosiphon, two-phase thermosiphon. Um, this morning I got it out and it was uh, holding pressure, which is great. Uh, it doesn't seem to leak too much. Uh, this valve here that I used to fill it, uh, the, it doesn't seat properly. I have to keep the cap on there to keep it from leaking too much. Uh, I built that thing out there today. That is a uh, uh, infrared radiator, uh, but the sun's too high right now to really uh, take any advantage to the night or to the clear sky. Uh, so get that back out later. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do another experiment with this. Uh, earlier, I was just applying heat to the lower evaporator coil, causing the propane, liquid propane, to uh, uh, vaporize, and the pressure would rise, and vapor would travel to the top, and condense, and fall back down. And uh, very simple. Uh, simple loop. So I thought, well, I'll get some uh, plastic containers around, oops, don't touch it, don't touch it. <laughs> get some plastic containers around uh, these coils here and try icing the top and to see what kind of temperatures that I get. So I have a thermocouple right in the refrigerant line, um, directly in the path of the refrigerant uh, on that kind of the vapor bubbly side coming up and then the liquid side coming back down. Uh, <clears throat> that first value there is the uh, rising vapor and the second value is a falling liquid. You see it pretty pretty close. Um, you also notice the temperature. Uh, it's probably 80 degrees out right now. Um, so uh, we're definitely getting some uh, some heat transfer there. I just stuffed a little rag in the top of this cup here. I'm probably later on going to mess around with liquids, but uh, it's very, very cold. You know, not freezing, but it's very, very cold. Uh, I do have, it's ice water, salted ice water, to get the temperature down even further. I, just just ice water itself was, yeah, I mean, it was probably in the mid-40s or something. So I iced it and got her to come down a little more. The lowest I've seen is about 36. But um, it's kind of nifty um, to know that uh, that's that said um, refrigerant that's passing through there doing that, doing that cooling work and accelerating the melting of this ice because of the heat that the evaporator down here is absorbing from the air around it in my finger. Um, so um, definitely could have applications some places, um, you know, similar to, to heat pipes, uh, although a lot easier to construct. And uh, I would imagine that you can uh, make this thing operate over further distances uh, than a heat pipe. Uh, so anywho, um, did have to, I did kind of insulate my, my loop here my uh, my trap I don't know you know obviously it's it gets cold as well so okay, I keep touching this thing that ice is melting and the liquid level is rising so I'm gonna make a salty mess here soon so, anywho nifty thing uh, really easy to build if you know how to work a little bit with copper and flaring uh, you don't need the thermocouples or anything obviously just need some means by which to charge it get some propane and get liquid propane into it so uh, Anyway, thanks for watching.